Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Anthony Co-Francesco from Data Dive, and today I'll be walking you through the product evaluation scorecard. Let's jump right in. This is a new feature, heavily requested, and although we've been teaching these principles inside of Seller Systems for quite some time, this is the first time you'll see it inside of the Data Dive app. So how you're going to navigate to the product scorecard is in the top left-hand side of the Data Dive menu. You're going to see it listed here. And you're going to notice when you jump into the product scorecard for the first time that you're going to see a score of zero. And basically how this tool works is you go through and answer a few prompts about the niche that you're researching. And depending on if those attributes are positive or negative, it's either going to add or deduct points from your overall score. So this is a really standard way that if you're looking at launching a lot of different products, you can get some quick insights as to how risky or non-risky those products are relative to other niches that you're exploring. So basically what you're gonna do, there's gonna be a few different sections and they're gonna ask you specific questions about this niche. So you're gonna go through and answer a few questions about traffic distribution. And then on the uh, right-hand side, if you ever want a little bit more explanation as to what that question is, you can go and click for the more detailed prompt right there. And so after you go and answer these questions for traffic distribution, you're gonna be able to move through and go on to the section for profitability, right? Answer questions about the product life cycle, the ROI, then you're gonna go through potential for cost cutting, right? So things like packaging, design, patent, features, fulfillment, uh, and then moving on to competitiveness, this is going to help you to establish the overall competitive landscape of the niche. Again, go through and answer these questions one by one. And as you do, it's either going to give you a positive or a negative score. And you can also navigate directly to the different spots inside of the tool from clicking on visit routes or visit MKL. Again, this is going to help you to make sure that when you're researching traffic distribution, that all the correct metrics are right there. So once you get all the way to the end of completing this product scorecard, you're going to be given a value. And now this video probably didn't need, need to be so long for just explaining how to answer questions. We all know how to do that. But the big question people have is, well, what does the score mean at the end, right? How do I know? Is this a good score? Should I launch the product? Should I not launch the product? And the answer is, well, it really depends. Remember, when you're launching products, you don't want to just uh, select one product, research one or two products. You want to research ideally dozens of products, if not 100 plus products, just to launch one that is successful. And so what you really want to do is after you've gone through and finished this product scorecard for a few different niches, you're going to want to go back into your niche pipeline. And what you're going to see there is now you're going to see all of the completed product scorecards. For dog hats, we have 550 positive, and for the gaming headset, we have minus 350 negative. So based on your own criteria as a seller, now after you've gone through and completed this product scorecard for a handful of niches, now you're gonna be able to see the distribution, which products seem to be the most positive, which ones seem to be the least positive, and then based on that, you can make an analysis of for your business, which seem to have the lower risk. So I hope you found that video helpful. And uh, if you ever have any questions, you can scan this QR code. Uh, this is gonna help you to submit bugs and new feature requests. But remember, you can also submit feature requests directly inside of the app, just from clicking the red button down here. If you have any questions, please let us know down in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.